This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my truck? What are you doing there? Yeah, well, I've been working for like for 50 plus hours. Can't you see I can't be everywhere? Why am I seeing myself in my own truck? Well, at times I feel like I have to be in two places. It's time to move on and get on with the show. Well, I've been waiting for you. Look, we got people waiting to get a show going. So, so Eric, Eric, let's get give to me the, the countdown. countdown. What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. It's my pleasure and my honor to do the countdown on Simply Your Device. Keep up the good work, Mike. Let's get it started in three, two, one. Let's go. Hey there, Mike Dixon, Simple Your Device, and we're trying something new. I am using my Canon camcorder today to shoot video. Um, my last video I did about the LG returning it, I don't know if you guys seen it. To me, it bothers me. The lips don't catch up to the audio. So, you'd like the hand fingers too? Uh, so... I'm going to give this a try. The Canon's been marvelous. It's been super. I got it. It fits. The, I managed to shrink down my tripod. It's sitting on my tripod. It's a little crooked. I, I had it straight a second ago. There we go. Wait a minute. I'm going to edit that out. There we go. It's much better. Well, anyway, I wanted to change up a little bit here. Uh, I wanted to get I snicker only because I was writing down a script and everything else, and then all of a sudden everything blew up at work. So I had no time to really plan. I knew up here what I wanted, and I wanted to put it on paper. But I figured to change up a little bit today's show. I'm going to do some news, two pieces of news article I think it was worthy. And then I want to really cover, uh, talk about a few other things. Uh, I'll get to them in a minute. So first off, news. RCS is now rolling out to some Google Messenger users. Now, what I'm reading here, what is RCS Rich Communication Services? Now, apparently they're trying to reinvent the wheel here, in my opinion. Uh, it is for the SMS messaging service uh, for the uh, Google Messenger. I'll uh, read quickly some of the things they say here. It looks like multiple users have been alerted to the new Google Messenger RCS feature with pop-up messages along with menu settings that can be turned on and off to enhance features which users data for messaging is available along with send, re read receipts and show typing indicators. Okay, I see what they're saying. Uh, send receipt, I guess basically when the other person reads it, you're gonna get notification that person read your message, showing type indicators, just like in Hangouts and, and Allo, I see the little dots, the three little dots vibrating back and forth, saying that person is taking time to either read or respond to your message. Uh, they've basically, if where you would send a message and you had no idea if that person was really looking at it or taking time to, you know, respond to it or actually looked at it and blew you off, whatever the case may be. That's what this form of communication is happening. Uh, if you have Allo, you have that same feature. It's just interesting now, I'm, I, now I'm, it's clicking in my head here. Uh, so now Google is basically enabled with their Messenger app to do what Hangouts did for many, many years. Allo, they came out with that has the same idea. 
and now you got this the new update for the messaging app uh, I don't see this presently I'll read on here uh, I don't have this on my Nexus uh, that's I use the messenger on this device uh, the report says, says so far RCS features have been enabled with Sprint customers who have Google Pixel XL and Nexus 6P it points out the carriers to support RCS are the of the network Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Unfortunately, Verizon <laughs> uh, does not have it and doesn't sound like they're going to get it. Uh, apparently, a lot of this is doing with they bought a company called Jibe Mobile. Uh, they acquired them in 2015. So if you happen to have this, drop me a comment. Let me know if it is what I how I understand it. Uh, basically, you know, let's see, show the indicators, enable hands features. Okay. I like Hangouts as a messaging app. I didn't enable it on my, on here. I wanted to try Messenger to see. I have Allo on my other devices. You know, how many more messaging apps are we going to have for one? And do we really need this many? And though it's good that they've done that with, with this messenger, messenger app, that it's the ability to see if somebody's actually taking the time to look at it. Uh, today is, uh, what is today? Today is November 4th, yesterday, November 3rd. Apparently they had a uh, release of the Huawei Mate 9 and this is a fairly large phone just under 6 inches 5.9 uh, full HD display and it's coming with nougat and I'm reading this one article saying here uh, should be a solid option for the phoneless Note 7 owners who got burned by the recall. <laughs> burned. Um, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gig internal uh, SD slot, you know, micro SD for uh, expandable storage, dual band Wi Fi, the Leica, if I'm calling that right, camera, uh, and MUI 5.0 as a, as a skin. No set price for U.S. markets yet. At least at this time I'm looking here. Uh, I, if I have any updates, I'll note it here. I'll take a look when I get home. But at the moment, no set price. But looking at it, this is a possibility that well, this is going to be coming to the United States. What is interesting to me about this device, Huawei Mate 9. And in my mind, you have uh, OnePlus, you have Leak, Leak Eco, Leak Eco, another Chinese company with high specs, high end device at a low price point. Very enticing. And you know what? Some of these carriers, some of these carriers, some of these manufacturers are not afraid to borrow some of the designs from other manufacturers? Hmm, look at, I say, the um, OnePlus 3 borrowed from the HTC. Uh, what I saw at the Lee Eco kind of borrowed some things from Apple, Apple's phones, and the again, the OnePlus. They're all borrowing their own design, but the price point, the high-end specs, the what is built inside these phones, is what is the enticing thing. Now the question is, how are they going to how are they going to perform here in the states? Obviously, Huawei has made great inroads here with the Nexus 6P and the Honor series, the Honor 5 and Honor 8 has come out. I wanted to take a moment in this next section my LG V20 and why I returned it and why I'm taking a minute here is I have never ever 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 
I'll repeat that ever. Making sure I'm, I'm running out of time. So I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can. I have never ever saw a video that was polarizing I have ever did. I mean, I did the LG Urbane watch and that really took off nicely. I think it was partly because of the time of the year and uh, smart watches were still relatively new, still coming off the tail end of being newness, if you know what I'm saying. But at the moment here today, November 4th at 2.11, I'm, I'm shooting this, it's had over a thousand views with 33 comments and 28 thumbs up. Now, I'm not here to beat in my chest and say, oh boy, look how I did. I'm saying, well, one, first off, you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, this is what I strive to do. In the year plus I've been doing this, for the conversation to start, and you guys started a hell of a conversation. So, I really wanted to try and answer some of these questions that people have here, and I can't get to all. I can't. I can't get to all of them. And 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 the great part is, this is what I. Oh, this is so cool that you guys talk to each other. You you know you comment, and somebody else comments, and I don't get a chance to comment, but somebody else did comment. You know, here's one I want to respond to. It made me laugh. I saw this. It came to my watch. I'm like, what the hell is... Oh, my God. A gentleman by name, and hopefully you're watching, Robert Robinson, he says, you suck. The LG V20 is a great phone. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for telling me I suck. I really don't care. And yes, though, the V20 is a great phone. And uh, Robert, I'm going to get circle back to your comment when I'm done here. It'll be like the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, all you guys, I'm referring to my regulars. I'm talking Eric and, and uh, from Easy Computer Solutions and Jay Wills. Uh, I think Team Frank. Um, oh, God. Uh, Tony. Uh, Tony, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, uh, you sent a, you were one of your messages, you know, I didn't know if you, you know, I didn't, he, here's his comment, I didn't even know you had a V20, no box, no first impressions, what, with big question marks, yeah, man, I'm sorry, I have that video, and I don't know, uh, I'm keeping it, uh, I shot a video, I was going to make it as a, it's a B-roll kind of thing, uh, but, it, you know, it's just the way it turned out, Tony, the way it turned out. Uh, Jay Santana uh, wrote in, uh, the LG V20 is not worthy of the price tag. The phone is cool, but at 700 hours, it's too high. The Pixel is also a nice phone, but like you mentioned, the cost is too high, is high too, excuse me, is also high. Uh, Jay Santana is still rocking his Nexus 6, which runs smooth on uh, 7.0. The Nexus 6 is a is a phone I'll keep until it dies the Moto X pure is another phone I've been enjoying and it offers it offers amazing value I think mid-range phones are the way to go in my opinion great video bro and yes mr. J Santana 319 yes sir you're absolutely right that's what that moment that aha moment <laughs> that aha moment I had when I realized, good God, if T-Mobile went belly up and all of a sudden got stupid with my service and I couldn't handle it wanting them and I wanted to leave, if some other carrier came out with a phenomenal deal that you couldn't turn away, I would have to cough up all that money to go and leave that. Even if I made that, I got a year into it. And on top of that, I have four uh, four, four phone lines and a tablet line. Okay, so you can imagine what my bill is. All right? I could get rid of the line. I don't want to get rid of the line. It was like this. Keep the phone. Get rid of the line. No, the lines are more important to me. So I got rid of that, and I know that over time I'm going to go find a device that I can talk about. Gives me the flexibility to buy and sell devices. 
you know, I mean buy, by referring to buying is go to Swappa or get a deal on a phone. I'm gonna be selling my Moto G4 Play, by the way, on, on Swappa. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get for it, but it's not doing me any good sitting in my drawer. Excellent phone, excellent phone, I can't say enough. Um, I have <laughs> a gentleman by name of Sony Z wrote in, John Goodman, is that you? Well, thank you, thank you. I didn't know I looked like John Goodman. Nah, no, nah, it's not John Goodman. Uh, I have to give a shout out and comment. My son, Michael Dixon Jr. Uh, you know, Mike, I I appreciate your kind words and your comments. Uh, I, he says, I like the video. Glad to see an objective view and it's an honest opinion and the view what is the average person goes through. I encourage you to continue making continue making videos not just as a fan and family but for the demographic that can be overwhelmed by the confusion confusion of tech and its marketing it is nice to see something grounded first off that's my son michael thank you he talks from the heart i know he is he's there's no bull here okay if that came from somebody else i'll be thanking him immensely uh, Eric, you wrote in great video. I do understand. Thank you very much. A gentleman named by Reggie. And a, I'm, I'm horrible I'm trying to say last names next to Smith and Jones and Williams and stuff. Uh, Reggie Abzundero. I can respect your decision for returning the V20. You're right. The price of these devices is getting insane. I think the V20 isn't for everyone. But it's treating me well so far and like i said cool with that like my thought is i love the device i, I <laughs> it was halloween i'm supposed to be getting ready for halloween for you know my house decorating you got family coming over i spend hours like sh sh stressing out figuring out am i going to keep this what it came down to is this my best recommendation is this if this is your only phone you're going to have not like i do if this is your only device you're going to have, I will highly recommend that device. If you can afford the $30 a month payment and whatever your phone service is, it's a win. It's a win. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Dark Knight 127 commented to Reggie saying that uh, I really like the camera, especially the manual controls. Shame I never got around to playing with it. I just did everything on, on auto. Uh, is the camera really that bad? Okay, that was Dark Knight's replying. That was somebody over there. Uh, see, Jay Wills, I see you. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're glad you uh, glad you made the decision based on your needs. That was a, basically came down to. Uh, I still got to take care of my family, and my you know everything else. Let me see here. Uh, my dad always told me this is a gentleman by the name of Steve Cannon. My dad always told me that someone is worth what people are willing to pay for it. Clearly there is a lot of people who think these phones are worth it or simply are paying money they really can't afford. Thank you, Steve Cannon, very well said. Uh, when people stop buying them because of the excessive cost, the vendors will lower the price. Right now I feel the vendors are seeing just how much they can push the price envelope before sales slow. Steve Cannon, excellent point. Right here, I'm going to put it right there. Steve, you're you're on Simply Your Device vlog today. Steve, I, I'll get back to you. I, I gave you a thumbs up just now. I got to reply to your comment when I get a chance. Uh, Jay Jocelyn, how you doing, dude? You got a 5X and you're running on a five, uh, the 7.1.1. It's been great so far. Glad you're unofficially back. Yes. Let me comment to that. I am now, hopefully, back. I'll touch on that in a minute. But Jay, same thing here on that 7.1.1. I'm on the developer's preview. Really nice, really nice. And why do I need to get a Pixel when I'm getting a taste of the Pixel here, which I'm just quite happy getting taste of it, okay? And doesn't cost me a whole lot of money. 
I'm gonna end this particular segment right now with this real quick, because I'm running out of time. Uh, it says here, um, Robert Robertson, I'm gonna finish up with you again. Uh, I suck, LG uh, phone is great. Let me tell you something, Mr. Uh, Mr. Robertson. I'm gonna give you too much information here, folks. I take my phone into the bathroom and I do my business and I'm sitting there going there. Yes, TMI, I understand, but I'm just telling you how it all went down. So I have the app for Swappa. You folks go to swappa.com, you do a search LG V20 and look at the price of the V20 going right now. Look at the price of the V20 going right now. I saw V20 I can get today for $595, $595 today on Swappa mint condition a lot of these ones on a lot of these somehow people are buying them don't out know how don't know what they're doing they're taking a loss and they're reselling 595 there are other higher prices but there was one right now as of it was about midnight last night for 595 dollars for a T-Mobile variant okay like Steve Cannon said, we're pushing to see how much you get. If Apple wants to go and sell a, a, a seven something, okay, to try to eye and combat, try and get a mid range price, how many people are going to buy it? Are going to buy it and bash it? Oh, I got to spend all this money. It's really great. Oh man, it's gotta be great. No, folks. No, no, don't. No. In my heart, I'm gonna get another, I'm gonna get the V20. But I'm gonna wait. Wait till the hype is over. Okay? I get a V10 right now for under 300. I get a V10 unlocked for about. 350 I think it was so that's my thought I don't suck I just know what I gotta do with my money anyway I'm gonna end it right here I gotta get back to work but I want to take a moment and tell you I had that heartfelt moment I was really dumb, uh, down in the dumps a lot of things personally was happening in my life uh, family work couldn't do the channel way I want to. Look, when I want to do something, I want to do it the right way. Don't want to do half-ass. Okay? I'm back at doing the, the truck vlogs, not a car vlog, uh, because I, I wanted to, and I had somebody reach out to me. I'm not going to say who, and you know who I'm talking about. You, That person knows. And that was a huge shot in the arm for me, and I thank you. And I want to thank every one of you. Every one of you who gave me the support, who gave, well, <laughs> and also the comments on the V20 of returning it too, but all of you, thank you. I cannot say enough. I can't set a set schedule. Some days I'm rocking at work, I'm wiped out, and I wanna do this correctly. So if I can do it, I wanna do it. If I can do it every day, I'll do it every day, except for the weekends, just give me, give me two days off, you know? For now, I can say I'm back, the studio ain't not done yet. Time. Basically time. I want to get my studio done. But I had a request to continue the truck vlogs. I'm not calling it a car. Sorry, it's not a car. It's a truck. Um, and you know what? It's cheap. It's easy. I go home and edit this up. It'll be out tomorrow. Mike Dixon, Simpler Device. Any comments, concerns, start the conversation, leave down below. Subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you for all again. And hopefully I'll see you, well, it'll be Tuesday. Uh, hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. Have a good weekend.